Hi, um, I'm Erin Panagical. I'm 30 years old. Um, I was born and raised in Los Angeles and now live in sunny San Diego. My most memorable experience at Planned Parenthood was pretty recently I went to get the YES exam, which uh, is really great because it's not just a pap smear, it's the pelvic exam, the abdominal exam, and the breast exam, which I don't think I would have gotten anywhere because um, I wasn't old enough. Um, and my Planned Parenthood provider found a lump in my breast that my regular doctor missed. She walked me through everything. I was really nervous and, and she calmed me down and, and told me that this is like kind of the greatest thing that can happen is like that we detect it really early. The provider that I met with was just so young and lively and um, I really connected with her. I felt like she was a friend. Planned Parenthood is a women's reproductive health care organization. So we do uh, medical services that help people have uh, healthy and safe lives, birth control and access to breast exams and cancer screenings. Uh, we provide abortion um, and we also provide educational and advocacy services in the community. What I wish people knew about Planned Parenthood is uh, the difference we make in people's lives every single day. The decision about when and whether you're going to have uh, a child. That's all a very personal decision about how you're going to bring children into this world and what Planned Parenthood does um, two and a half million times a year is help women and men and families uh, think about their choices and make decisions for themselves based on what they So I've actually had two abortions in my life, um, one when I was 18 and one when I was 24. Um, both times there were um, unplanned pregnancies. Um, both times I was shocked. <laughs> um, at both times I knew I didn't want to carry the pregnancy to term because I wasn't ready to be a mom. When I was 18, um, um, I was with my first boyfriend. Uh, we were experimenting sexually and I honestly didn't know what I was doing. I was not being safe and um, I was pregnant. I was really scared. Uh, I didn't know what to do, but I went to Planned Parenthood right away. They confirmed it, and um, I made an appointment right away um, to have an abortion. As nervous as I was um, to actually go through the procedure, it was so calming, and every person I interacted with um, could tell that I was nervous, and and they they made it a very pleasant experience. One in three women in this country will have had an abortion by the time they're 45 years old. Abortion is a part of a woman's reproductive life cycle. Whether we want the government to legislate it or not, it will happen. And so the reality is, Planned Parenthood for a very long time and other abortion providers for a very long time um, have been shamed and stigmatized into that service being a bad and unnecessary service when so many millions of women in this country have experienced abortion or will. And Planned Parenthood is a really safe, wonderful provider. Um, so I think in general, people might, it might be stigmatized for that reason, but when you know Planned Parenthood, you know the people that work at Planned Parenthood, you know the volunteers and the donors and the supporters, and you know the patients, you know how special and important we are. I had my second abortion when I was 24. Um, during that time, it was my first semester of law school, and um, I was on the new ring religiously for about four years at that moment. Um, I didn't even think that I could even get pregnant while I was on birth control during that time, so it was a big shock to me. I found out because, uh, well, my partner noticed that I had symptoms, my breasts were getting larger, and then I thought back, oh, the, the last month I had a very light period. Maybe that was something, but, you know, who knows, nobody really thinks of that as, like, an uh, indicator, really. So, uh, when we found out, we went to the clinic, Planned Parenthood right away, made an appointment, and this decision was even easier for me. Um, because I knew this was absolutely not the right time. So um, I went to the clinic on a Saturday morning. Um, the procedure went really well and, and smoothly and super quick. My really good friend at the time came to pick me up and she had planned the most awesome girls night. We had junk food and we uh, watched romantic comedies all night. Uh, it was really comforting and it was really special because it felt like just a regular girls night and um, you know, support for what could have been just any regular medical procedure. The ability or the desire to want to control women, their ability to be sexual, their ability to make decisions about their bodies once they are sexual has really never gone away. 
the system or uh, the problems that I think we face as a society are still there. I do think, though, that young women specifically and young men, feminists, people who are coming into this work, are so lit up about why that's not okay and why you can be a sexual person if you choose to and lead a healthy sexual life. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I think we have to continue to help people young and old fight for in this country. But as long as women are put in that category, uh, I, I think we're gonna have a struggle. Luckily, I haven't faced any conflict or discrimination based on my decision to get treated at Planned Parenthood. It's something I'm really, really proud of, and um, I think that I'm really fortunate. Um, the, the, the experiences I have, I have had were working for Planned Parenthood have been far better and greater than I've ever experienced anything negative. I've never had any acts of violence against me or my family. There are threatening mail and unfortunate things being said. Um, there definitely is an attention to security in a way that I probably wouldn't have if I was working for a bank or something maybe less controversial. Um, but I'm raising two sons who are amazing feminists and Planned Parenthood has permeated every phase of my entire family's life and that's a gift. And I wouldn't take it back for anything. Um, I hope the world changes the conversation around reproductive rights in 2020. I hope that um, reproductive health generally becomes less stigmatized and less politicized. Um, as, and we really talk about it as healthcare versus women's healthcare. And that it's just part of like my medical decision and my, my health versus like a, a political debate about morality or religion. Um, I'm really hoping to move towards that kind of conversation and that kind of frame of thinking. So my hope, um, my vision, is that the amazing amount of supporters that Planned Parenthood and other organizations have been able to generate um, because of the political environment we're in right now, uh, that those people are just lit up and ready to change the world in 2020. If you knew that the President and all of Congress was watching this documentary right now, what would you say to them? Um, I knew that the President and Congress were watching this right now, I would, I would ask them to consider the two and a half million women uh, that come to Planned Parenthood for their medical services every year and the significance of what those medical services mean in those people's lives. I have a lot of thoughts to give to um, and a lot of things I'd like to share with uh, the President and the administration. Um, but I, I think the best thing to say is to, um, I like to ask them to not put politics over health care. They're coming for their cancer screening and their birth control. Um, sometimes there's nowhere else to go. Um, they often need confidential, non-judgmental health care. Um, and we're here for them. It's pretty clear that there's a lot of business involved here and like, you know, um, politics in general. And I think that people, real people are suffering. It's affecting real people. Um, and uh, the most vulnerable communities are really getting hit very hard. Planned is really a wonderful, warm, thoughtful, loving medical care provider that um, is doing incredible work in this country. Healthcare is such a basic human right. It really shouldn't be so difficult for us to access basic health care uh, with dignity. Listen to the people in your country who need access to high quality, um, low cost, affordable health care uh, and support Planned Parenthood in the work.